Hi, I'm David. I'm from Canada, the land of the beaver. But now I work in China, the land of the panda. I love this little guy. <coughs> I'm not feeling so well, actually. Shanghuala. Maybe a trip to the hospital is in. In China, going to the hospital is actually really different because you have a choice to make. You can either choose Chinese medicine. Uh. uh or you can choose Western medicine. Oh, Sun oh, Zhi This was actually another name that Sun Zhongshan went by. He used many different names during different periods of his lifetime. De Ming, Sun Wen, Zhongshan Qiao. But in China, he's best known as Sun Zhongshan, and in English, Sun Yat Sen. Have you been here before? This hospital is now known as the Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hospital, but in the past it was called Bo Ji Hospital. Built in 1835, this hospital already has 181 years of history. In 1886, a 20-year-old Sun Zhongshan studied medicine here. In just one short year, he managed to eliminate feudalism from the school and requested the removal of curtains between the male and female students in the classroom. Now, you need to know that a hundred years ago in China, there was a saying, men and women should not touch hands while passing objects, basically meaning that there was no dating and definitely no touching. So the fact that male and female students could actually study together in the same classroom was considered revolutionary, but they still had to use this curtain. But Sun Zhongshan was one step ahead of the crowd, even suggesting that male students should get gynecological internships in order to be able to effectively deal with gynecological problems in the future. Now you need to realize that this was 130 years ago. At that time in China, women still bound their feet and men were not even allowed to lay their eyes on a woman's face. So the thought of a man studying gynecology was really out there. But unexpectedly, the dean, John Glasgow Carr, granted young Sun Zhongshan's request. Sun Zhixin became one of the first male doctors in China to study gynecology, even delivering a baby from a woman who had dystocia. It's because Sun Zhongshan studied here that the hospital's name was changed from Bo Zi Hospital to Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hospital. But that's not the only interesting thing there is to know about this place. Its geographic location is also worth studying. This was one of the earliest Western hospitals in China, built in the neighborhood of Guangzhou's 13 Hong. Now these so-called 13 Hongs were actually trade firms of the Qing Dynasty. In today's terms, they would be called foreign trade agents. It's said that this hospital was created by an American missionary in 1835. After studying here for one year, Sun Zhongshan moved to Hong Kong for further studying. He practiced medicine in Hong Kong and Macau for a short time, but in the end, he decided to put down his stethoscope and instead picked up a gun because along with treating people, he also wanted to treat the nation. So back nearly a hundred years ago, he set out from Guangzhou, headed north along with his closest allies, and overthrew the imperial regime through revolution. The 13 Hong sits beside the Pearl River. The water in the Pearl River flows from the inlands to the ocean every morning, but in the afternoon, due to the tide, is brought back to Guangzhou. And the ocean, well, it brings this city its monsoons, but also a lot of new and interesting things as well. I'm David, see you next time.